Hello everybody in the welcome back to another video by me, Steve Clues. Right now today I've got this Tears Wall um, paint spray gun. Um, you can use this on a fence in your garden or inside wall ceiling, your doors. And um, this is 550 watt and there's the model number there in the corner. Um, you can purchase these on Amazon if you want to buy this. Um, yeah, if you want to watch this review please stay tuned but first roll those titles. Right, before I actually show you this working, and that's me testing it on, on my door in a flat, that's what I'm going to do, um, I want to go through what's inside the box and how you set it up right now. First of all, obviously you'll get the gun itself. This is the gun. And it comes with a, a 9.84 foot cable. And also, um, this button here, is to untouch this so if so if you want to clean it you can just clean that part when you've, after you've used it and it clips back in and it comes with some odds and ends here I'll go through on them in you get a paint lid that's for the paint tub you get the paint the tub itself now this is 1300 ml and you get the instruction manual as well. Now, let's go through what all these bits are in here. And the gun itself. Because like I say, some people might not even know. Because you might not have one before. Um, right now. First of all, you get this pot thing. Um, this is to test the paint. Um, when you put the paint in here, if the paint doesn't go through here, um, it means that the, it won't work in the gun and that's what this is for um, if, it do, if it doesn't go through here I recommend you just put a bit of water inside the paint and mix it around and, it, and at the end it should be okay then um, you get the this thing here this is like a straw um, this attaches to the bottom here like so Suck up the paint. And you get like three discs. These are for this here. So when the when that wears out, you've got three spare. And you've also got three um, discs. Three discs for the for the straw itself. Because underneath the straw, it's got discs on this there, and all you've got discs on this there. So say when, when when it wears out, you at least you've got three spare. Got them. Um, you get the a cleaner to clean out the pipe after. You get a little um, oh, stuck on the pipe. A little needle. This is to get out all the paint that gets stuck in here. So that's four. And you get the three three nozzles. Um, these are all different sizes and all. Um, one's one mm. The other one's one point eight mm, and this one's one uh, two point six mm. It, dep it depends what size you want, really. And this, after you put these on, on the gun, I'll show you in a minute anyway. Um, you put that on, obviously, this um, basically is like which way you want to spray the gun, basically. Like, you can just different different ways. I'll show you what that means in a minute. Um, and you've got the little screw here you have to put to put them on with. Also, it also comes with a lid, so if you want to take it off the gun and wash the gun and leave the paint in here, you, at least you've got a lid to put on there. Right, um, I'm going to show you how you put these on, the nozzles. And you put the nozzle on, um, should be like a little part on it somewhere, yeah, that little part there, that goes onto here. 
at the bottom, like that, like so. And you just hold it, and you get the other part, like I say, um, this part. Now this part um, just basically slots on to here, like so. Once you've done that, um, you get the screw, then screw it on. Make sure it's tight because if it isn't tight enough, um, the paint will leak. And if it's wrong, um, this, if you put it on wrong, this won't move. So make sure that moves horizontal, vertically, and like that way. If that this way is flat, if you want to do like spots on paint, horizontal, vertical. That's basically that. This is basically if you get like that, that's like for up and down. And this, then and that this way, if it's like that, and this is to left to right. And that this way is like if you just want to do spots. And also, when, when you put the paint in, so you've got, so you got the paint here, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, I'm going to put some white paint in this to paint my white door because it needs repainting. Um, you just basically just, just slide it on here. And obviously make sure it's tight again. And you've got adjustments here. How fast how fast the paint what you want to go out. How fast it's Faster and slower, basically, that means. And this is a trigger, obviously, that has to get the paint come out. And at the back, there is the filter. So it's all set up and ready to go, basically. Um, I do recommend, and all, when you're using this, um, get an extension lead because sometimes it doesn't actually reach so you so i was i always have time to take extension lead i do yeah i'll see you in a minute when i've tested this out right before you switch this on um i recommend that you try the paint make sure it goes through the funnel um the funnel basically is for like when you put the paint in and here um it's basically for testing the paint if the paint doesn't come through here and um, that means that the paint's too thick so you might have to thin it down by, um, say, putting some water in the paint or something. Because it's got to be thinned down, because otherwise it doesn't go through here. Um, this hole here. Um, basically, it just won't work. That's what that's for. Um, it does come with like cleaning things as well in the box as well. Um, you do get like a pen. They'll have to clean, clean a nozzle and everything, and a bottle brush. So that's quite good. And also, I recommend that when you're using the gun, um, you put a mask on. Because obviously, because it's basically because you might get fucking paint and it's like, it might um, harm you, basically. So, I've just got basically one of these standard masks that everyone's got anyway, but these days, because everyone's actually got these masks, I've got one of them. Um, and also, I recommend that you have a cap on because sometimes you tend to get the paint in your, in your hair, air, and it's like, I've got paint in my hair, basically. So, yeah, I recommend you wear a cap and all and just put some old clothes on. Yeah. Right, I'm going to start this now. Um, I think I've mentioned everything that I can. Right, um, with the paint gun, I'm going to sp like spray this door. Um, it's already white, but obviously, you can see it's going a bit yellowy, colory, and a bit messed up. I haven't painted it rage, so it needs, re needs repainting, basically. Um, before I actually paint the door, um, to stop it getting on the walls, um, I put this, these uh, plastic dust cloths that you can get from Poundland, um, these ones, um, they are quite big and all covers, covers all the wall. Um, and also, um, obviously I put a few bags there just, just, in, just in case it, um, the, the thing gets under it, the paint gun. I put some, basically some scrap paper at the top here. Uh, yeah, from Poundland, yeah, you can get them, but and it's quite, they do get quite a lot in all one. So I put a white paint in here, like I say. And I've got it set to a medium on here. Don't, so it doesn't so too powerful.
I mean, I've done a good job really, I think. You know, I've put paper tape on over the ear, so when, when it's dry, I can take it off, so it went in on door handle. But yeah. And the only mistake I did is I put it on too high, and it was spraying out too much paint. So we had to get a paintbrush and um, basically like thin it out where I don't do it too much. I mean, the spray gun itself, yeah, it's for I think this is forty-seven pound on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below where we can to get this from. So if you want to, you can buy it. Um, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Anyway, oh, one more thing actually. Um, when you, after you after you use this gun, make sure you clean it out because if you don't clean it out. Um, the, the end will get all blocked and then you won't be used so just make sure that and obviously inside the box you get the cleaning things inside the box anyway um, yeah thanks for watching my video anyway please subscribe to my channel i upload videos all the time um, yeah thanks for watching. bye